There's no better time of the year than post-spawn to be out fishing. The fish are aggressive and biting well, and there's a good reason for that. You always hear anglers talk about how great bed fishing can be in fishing the spawn. But what happens after they're done spawning? In my opinion, that's when this action gets really good. Fish are great parents, they really are. The males and females will work together to create a bed for that female to lay her eggs in. After the female lays her eggs, the male will continue to protect the bed from predators who are trying to eat its fry or babies. Once the fry hatch, they'll move to extremely shallow cover next to the bank to avoid being attacked by predators. But most of them become easy meals in the ponds. The bait that perfectly mimics these little fry is this Rebel Trackdown Minnow TD-49. This is a slow sinking ultralight bait that will catch literally anything that swims. Now keep in mind, you're throwing a super tiny bait, so you're gonna need the proper rod and reel selection. This is my ultralight rod and reel, spooled with four pound monofilament line, and it's absolutely perfect for throwing these little baits. There's a couple different ways to work this TD-49. The first way is just a nice, constant retrieval speed. Oh, there's one right there. Little bluegill. Gosh, it's crazy watching these fish come at this bait like heat seeking, oh, heat seeking missiles, man. I mean, they will literally come out of nowhere to hit this bait. A second way to retrieve a TD-49 is a twitch, twitch, pause kind of retrieval. Keep your rod tip kind of low and you twitch that bait and pause it. And when you twitch that bait, those fish are curious about it. You know, they're swimming up to it. And as soon as you twitch that bait again, when they're right on it, that's when you get your strike. Hey, look at that. Multi-species challenge, man. I love catching crappie, man. They're so pretty. There's another one. <laughs> A lot of bluegill in here, man. This is fun. Fun part about these ultralights is they'll make just about any fish feel like a giant. You got light enough tackle like this. Oh gosh! <laughs> gosh! This is bluegill heaven, dude. Ah, he's not too big, but good eating size for big bass. Another important tip for working these TD-49s, rod tip positioning. Because this bait's a slow sinker, your rod tip is gonna determine where that bait runs in the water column. Now, if you're fishing a little deeper part of the pond and you wanna get that bait down deep, all you gotta do is keep that rod tip low and encourage that bait to sink. But on the other hand, if you're reeling up towards the shallows and you wanna get that bait up in the water column, you wanna bring your rod tip up and counter that sinking action. Now, bait positioning is not a hard thing to do with this TD-49. Just cast out there straight in front of you in the middle of the pond and let that bait sit just a second after you cast. And then frantically start working it back towards the bank. What you're going to want to mimic with this is a fry out in the open and vulnerable to be attacked. And so he's rushing back to the shore to get back to cover. And a lot of times, this is when he's going to get struck. Now, sometimes you can actually see these fish just up shallow if you're fishing clear enough water. And the best thing to do is just toss it right in front of their face and actually watch them eat that bait. Little bluegill. Holy, did you see that? Get him in there. About jumped out of the water when he hit that thing. TD-49. This has just been absolutely unreal today. I mean, you just can't beat these little TD-49s. They're awesome. Good bass right there. 
Man, I'll tell you, TD49, man, it'll literally catch everything in this pond. Good fish. Hey everybody, hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and let me know in the comments below what's your favorite ultralight lure of all time to fish with.